Hi guys, this is George back here with another video and welcome to an update of the brand new themed area that will be opening at Drayton Manor in 2021. So of course last year in 2020 the Looping Group purchased the park and since uh, the new ownership came in it, we are having some constant investment into the park with this new themed area and it's going to be called Adventure Cove and it's going to be a nautical themed area and it looks like it's going to be absolutely incredible so hopefully later this year I will go and experience it. In terms of the rides that are going to be located in this area there is still some more announcements to come so I'll talk more about that in a sec. But the ride, there are some rides that will be rethemed to fit into this area. Of course, Maelstrom will be in there, but that already has a nautical theme, so that I believe that will just be staying as it is. But Air Race, I believe, is going to be uh, rethemed. I don't know if it's going to be rethemed or anything, but I don't really know how they're going to get away with a plane-themed ride in a nautical-themed area, but apparently that is going to be part of the area. Storm Force 10 is going to be part of the area. Shockwave is also going to be part of the area and we know that Shockwave has had some improvements done to the station building. They ha that has now been painted, uh, that does look different now, it looks so much better than it used to. The old building for Shockwave in my opinion looked absolutely awful. So there we go and as well as that the most exciting part of this announcement is the Rapids are going to be reopening. Of course Drayton Manor did used to have a Rapids, however I believe it was in 2017 there was an incident on there but the, the Rapids will be reopening with upgraded safety features so there's going to be the new boats the Tintamin do, of course the style of boats that you can find on Infinity Falls at SeaWorld Orlando and they're really good boats, they have the higher backs, they have the doors at the side and they're really good, there's some seat belts on there as well, not all Rapids seem to have seat belts so that is definitely going to be better in terms of the health and safety of the ride. And I believe there is going to be some new theming around and a new storyline as well. Uh, so it's going to have a theme of a cartoon fishing port, which is very interesting. So there we go. As well as that, there is also going to be two... Well, we, we don't know this, but... On the Drayton Manor website, uh, I haven't been on there to have a look, but from what people are saying, if you go onto the Drayton Manor website, it does look like that there are going to be two other attractions on, uh, I mean, in this area. So that's good to see that there's some new rides going in and not just uh, other rides being rethemed into the area. Of course, Maelstrom already has that theme, and pe people, are, I, I always thought this would be a really good idea. Like maybe turn, get, get that Maelstrom theming and turn it into a whole area. And of course, Storm Force Ten is going to fit in really well. That's uh, had some upgrades over winter. I believe it's been painted and some of the wooden boards have been replaced and stuff. Storm Force Ten looks brilliant. I've never ridden it, but it looks really good. They've got a few drops on there, including a backwards drop, there's a big double drop and it looks absolutely brilliant and I've heard you get absolutely drenched on there as well. So hopefully I'll get to ride that later in the year. As well as that, the Rapids as well, really want to uh, be able to get on the Rapids. Of course, when I first went to Drayton Manor, uh, that was October 2017 and that was after the incident. So I've never, I never rode the Rapids as it was, but of course uh, it is going to be getting a new storyline and a new theme as well to a cartoon fishing port. So that is very exciting. And as well as that, the two other attractions as well. We don't really know what they're going to be, and I don't really know where they're going. However, I do have a rumour, well not really a rumour, but I do have an idea of where these two rides could be placed. And of course, next to Maelstrom, there did used to be a roller coaster called G-Force, and that was removed a couple of years ago. So, I wonder if maybe these two new attractions were potential new attractions, are going to be put there because to be honest I don't really see where else they would go. So there we go that's all I really know on Adventure Cove so far that will be opening at Drayton Manor in 2021. Very exciting to see and I can't wait to experience it. So then guys, that is now the end of this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly Roller Coasters, which is now my only Instagram account. Follow me on Twitter at George Kelly and check out my other YouTube channel at Wealthy Eagle. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay safe everyone and I will see you all later. Bye!